This is the Haunt Vlog number two, I guess. That's what we're calling this. Um, this is, I want to say, like, October 3rd or 4th, something like that. It's the first week weekend of October, basically. Saturday. Not quite done. We're probably... In my eyes, we're about 60% done right now, unfortunately. Due to my uh, hip injury. That's okay. So I'll show you over here first. This is new. Made this in probably two or three hours the other day. Uh, so I had a bunch of scrap wood and I decided to make one of these. I saw this on the Random Land Adventures blog about the, uh, not, not Scary Farm, but what they're calling it um, like Fall Adventures or something. Uh, anyways, on his blog, that's had something similar. Anyways, so I made one of these that I'm calling my Viking Jack-O-Lantern. It's about eight feet tall, the tallest. And I'm going to fill in the back, but, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It doesn't look very tall next to the garage and the RV garage, but it is what it is, I guess. Other than that, this corner is kind of the same. Um, we added quite a bit of lighting, as you can see. Uh, it's a little bit more hot on camera than it is in person. We have our little mermaid out here. She's new. Probably going to put some fishnet and chain on her as well. Maybe some more lights. I don't know. See what we have time for. Now our pile of gold is getting bigger. Pile of treasure. Captain's looking snazzy. Brittany made his new costume for this year. I think he looks pretty sweet. Especially with his boot. It's the candle I made out of an old lamp. Pretty sweet. Looks good. Uh, I'm going to keep adding more candles and stuff, and I still got to hide the lights and. Still more work, but, you know, it looks pretty good so far. And I got the sound going, if you can hear that. I'm not sure if you can. I got, you know, the background sound effect stuff going. Got this corner kind of lit up. This bush just looks fantastic, though. All lit up when you go around it. Just kind of almost, I don't want to say twinkles, but looks pretty cool. Alright, got some tombstones out. Got all the change up. I still have to do the lighting in the, like the uplighting inside the trees, I still have to do. Uh, but we got the pirate skeleton in there this parrot pretty sweet and then this corner it's not really our style necessarily um, but it sticks out the most from our view of people driving by um, just because like our neighbor's big tree here and stuff and we don't really have a whole lot right on the corner so you don't really see our yard until you're kind of flying by so this year <clears throat> I added this which you, you can see from far away with those ghosts again not really our style but it's a uh, eye catcher but it is nice being on the corner because more people see us so hopefully you know We'll get some people this year. Last year was our first year at this location and we got 
probably about 50 kids, so... I don't know, it was probably like 30 or 40 families that came. So it's a pretty good turnout. <clears throat> but the one thing I'm super excited about this year that I'm sure a lot of you are also excited about is the new Atmos FX digital projection that I'm putting in here. No longer have a front door. Now this is also pretty red uh, on the camera. It's not that red in person. And I'm also gonna be building a kind of facade around this. So it's gonna look like, like a wood wall kind of broke out the middle, you know? And then the projection effects will be coming out through the middle. So it's not gonna just look like that. That's just for now. But I'm going to do a tutorial on how to build this whole rig uh, start to finish. So you guys will see that. I just kind of wanted to show these effects. And my, project my projector, I've never had this happen before. I think it got too hot or something. And burned a hole in the what i'm guessing is like the led chip or something because it's focusable so i don't know so i'm gonna contact the company <clears throat> uh but atmos effects is new uh i want to say it's called ghostly apparitions 3. their pirate ghost is awesome fits obviously perfect for our haunt and I'll do a video of uh, just this when it's all finished as well. And the funny thing is the uh, audio tracks that they kind of put on here fit in pretty good with the track that I use already from uh, Fright Props. <laughs> Yeah, once I get that facade up that's kind of all busted out, it's going to look fantastic. So, because my idea is that, so this is our voodoo tree, is kind of what we call it. Um, but it's going to be more uh, UV blacklight in there. Uh, so, but this will be like the voodoo witch tree. <clears throat> and this is her grave. That I need to get more black lights in here. These ones aren't bright enough. Uh, anyways, and then that, she's kind of the keeper of the graveyard here. And all kind of the lost souls, she takes care of them. And then this is like the portal to the other world. Uh, kind of thing, so. Super excited. And their projection effects are amazing. They just get better and better and better. So, and I know that you see that hot spot pretty bad from the projector. That's at this angle. And most people aren't gonna be, you know, walking right up to our front door. So, the way I look at it, most people are going to be driving by. Sorry, I'm backing up. So, ooh, almost fell off the curb. <laughs> Once I put that facade up, that hot spot should be like right at his feet. So it should cover it up. Pretty good. See if I can zoom in. So. If not, I can always figure something out. And if you still see a little bit of it, whatever, it's not the end of the world. It's part of the portal to the other realm, you know, there's always a story. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> so I want to see, what do you guys think? I was trying to get like a ripple effect in the rocks. I know it looks really hot there. Um, 
kind of because this is supposed to be the water side all the blue and then all the green is going to be the land side but I didn't want to do the whole thing right now because that's obviously a lot of work plus I still got to get in there I don't know it might be cool Uh, but I want to show you guys a few changes that we made to the captain. He is looking awesome. Got the eye patch on there, all made out of leather. Brittany made this whole outfit, like literally sewed it from scratch. He's got his sword. Got a sweet boot this year, finally. We were picking up uh, this big crate that you'll see later. And they were also getting rid of, you know, some old clothes and stuff. I'm just goofing. New, New boot goofing. Oh! Like buckles on it and stuff. Fit perfect. Filled it up with um, some great stuff. Foam, spray foam stuff. So it sticks in there good. He's looking so fantastic. Our little treasure here. Got these chairs on Craigslist for free, along with some of this other treasure stuff. Spray paint it gold and put it out here because I figure, you know, pirates just see gold and they go nuts and grab it no matter what it is. And then also we're doing a tutorial on making these candles out of lamps using either rewiring them for a 12 volt system like I did for this one or just you know using the actual lamp parts itself and putting you know one of those store-bought flicker bulbs in there they both work great like these bulbs here <clears throat> so and then we'll hide those lights more. And again, you kind of all, everyone sees it from behind this wall. So this is all kind of hidden anyways, so. It's looking good though. And the tombstone that we got from Hell Sir Cemetery. I'm sure most of you guys know who that is. And if you don't, look them up. Um, uh, I've known Sal for probably at least 15-ish years now, on and off, from haunts and stuff. Good guy. Our little... So out here, I want to talk about this, that um, hanging stuff like creepy cloth and things, it's kind of almost impossible just because we get high winds a lot out here. So I used these plastic chains from the dollar store and they work great because they don't get all tangled up and you know they look good blowing in high winds because they don't go crazy blowing and they, I don't know, it just gives it kind of this cool creepy effect and pretty cheap. So, not bad. <clears throat> we have our... Pirate over here. So same pants as last year. Has the captain's old shirt. New bandana and Brittany kind of touched him up a little bit. But then I put a speaker in him, which I'm sure you can hear. That's why I'm talking loudly. <laughs> uh, so when people kind of walk by here uh, or drive by, they can hear the sound. And it hides it pretty good. Got the lantern going. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> now I just gotta finish it. So you can kinda see what I'm saying now from this point of view. When driving down the road, you can't really see much because a lot of it's over here, at least for right now. Um, especially because I still have to light this tree up. And this is also why I do the lights first. <laughs> at least the bulk of the lights. Just so there's something to look at, you know? Plus, I mean, my background is in lighting, so it is a little easier for me. 
um, to just kind of guesstimate what I want. So I know that's not an option for everybody, and that's okay. Oh, I did also make, so these tombstones that I got from Sal, um, I want to say they're from the Halloween store in Hollywood. I'll find out and I'll put it in the link in the description. Um, and who the artist is that sculpted them. Because they are very awesome. I think they still sell them too. <clears throat> uh, but I did make this vase here and wired it up with some flicker lights and uh, green flicker lights and UV lights. I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera. Uh, and then this bird cage I made, <clears throat> I just started with your like, you know, normal store bought bird cage. And then just jazzed it up. Hand, hand, head, head up. Out of a ray, out of a ray, big turn here. Run de Jean, slide. Step, step, and jazz hands. Bunch of uh, sticks and. Obviously put some lights in there. And some creepy cloth in the bottom. Some moss, some vines. You know, put some feathers on the bird. I don't know if you can see in there. And it's only one green light in the corner. One green flicker LED, five millimeter LED. And then one UV, or no, excuse me, three LEDs three UV LEDs uh, for his back and head and all that. And it's a small detail. Can't really see it from the street, but I like adding small stuff just so people to, you know, come by multiple times and see new things. Uh, here's another one of those tombstones. It's the Poe one. After Mr. Edgar Allen, I'm sure. Uh, and then I have a Frankenstein one as well, and then a few new ones from Home Depot and Lowe's that would be kind of background ones back there that I won't light up as much. And then for the windows, I am working on some foam boards that are going to look like, uh, you know, boarded windows kind of thing. <clears throat> and then just a few more props I have to get out that are uh, in storage high up that I can't really get out by myself just because I can't really put too much weight on my hip so I do love watching this thing <laughs> who doesn't love a good projection effect so much fun <clears throat> and it does have pretty good uh, Pirates of the Caribbean movie vibe to it yeah so cool all right so i think that's it update wise yeah so i hope you guys like it i want to do it all at nighttime this time um because i know if you guys are anything like me you love all the nighttime shots Especially with that crazy pirate in the background. Alright guys. See you next week. Safe Halloween. And happy Halloween. And good haunting. <laughs>